Welcome to a video series on learning version control with Git. Today, we'll publish a local repository on a remote server. Let's talk a bit about the situation first. You created a new Git repository for your project on your computer. You've worked a bit in this new repository and now want to start sharing it with other people. That's when you create a new empty remote repository on a server. This could be any of the popular hosting services like GitHub, Beanstalk or Bitbucket, or maybe your company's own server. Now's the time to publish your project. We'll connect your local Git repository with that new and empty remote one. And we'll then publish your work for the first time on the server. After this, your teammates can then clone a copy of the project to their computers. And you can all start collaborating. Let's go! If you haven't done already in the last video, let's quickly connect that new remote repository with git remote add, a handy short name, and the repository URL. Now we're ready to publish our local repository on the server. The git push command is what we need. We'll talk about this command in detail in a later video, including that U flag here. The first important parameter is this. Which remote repository do you want to push to? Since we've just connected a remote and named it Origin, we'll upload our project there. A second important information is to which branch on that remote do you want to push? Here in our local repository, we're currently on the master branch. It makes sense to keep names consistent between the local and the remote repository. Therefore, and since the remote repository is still empty, this command will create a new remote branch with the same name. And this is it. We're uploading all of the commits from a local master branch to the remote repository. Thanks for watching and see you soon in our next video.